Toastmaster Hisham Rahim, contestant number six. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, today we had an opportunity to listen to a very touching story about determination. And the speaker wrapped it up in midway of his speech with his punchline. I'm talk talking about my very own mother. Ladies and gentlemen, for sure, the audience could not do anything else but spontaneously react and applaud as soon as he made that line. That shows the delivery, conviction to the audience when a guy speaks about his own personal story. Toastmaster Venkatesh, it was a pleasure to listen to your speech and listen to your determination and the importance of it, convincing all of us about it. I think throughout the period of his speech, he gave us a series of examples. And there's nothing more convincing when you give examples, anecdotes about the topic you're speaking. And in your delivery, when you talked about the gentleman who built the bridge by tapping on his finger, I think in that quality of your examples, there was also an opportunity which maybe we missed out. Think about it. It would have been the ultimate punchline if in your speech you made a statement, you see people with determination all around you. In fact, today look before your very eyes at our fellow Toastmaster in a wheelchair who just delivered today this determination. That would have been a punchline. That was a rare opportunity which you had to drive home your point. Furthermore, as you went around talking about determination. It was evident that you were confident in your body language, you had come prepared, you were pleasant and relaxed. And that always gives a good message to anyone who's watching a speech, especially when it's a topic which has been actually spoken about many times. And therein lies my next point. When it's a prepared speech, you have the opportunity to prepare. There are small little tools available which I'd like to share with you which will help you in the future. One typical example. Did you know today, in 1941, was the day of Singh, Sukhdev, and Shivaram were hanged for their determination to liberate India? And I didn't know this, I'm not a historian. But luckily in my phone, there's an application available on Android and on iPhone today. It gives you dates, histories about your particular day. And that, gentlemen, is a great tool, which I think all Toastmasters should use, because it gives weight to your speech, but I also learned while I was scrolling during the one minute break that March 23rd is the Republic Day of Pakistan. Also, 1942 was the day in World War II the Japanese invaded Adam and Nicobar Islands. I didn't know that before. But there is software and technology available that really enables the average good Toastmaster to be the best knowledgeable spoken Toastmaster. I think that's a tip which all of us can take home and bring back the next time when we deliver a speech. In our body movements, the speaker was walking around, he used the stage well. But I don't know if you noticed it, I got the feeling he was in his comfort zone with his right hand. And only twice in his speech did he actually use his left hand. One minute he said, the women's world was torn apart. So I think a healthier balance between using both hands would have really given the audience some comfort that, okay, he's really comfortable with the stage, he's not just walking up and down. Toastmaster Venkat. I think it was a privilege for me to listen to you epitomize in your own speech the importance of determination. It's quite another thing when a speaker comes and talks about a topic which he himself doesn't sound convinced about. But I think with your confidence and the way you really delivered it, I felt convinced. In fact, I stopped writing my notes was thinking who is in my family who also has a similar story. And that's, that's a nice time. The moment you get your audience thinking about your topic, do that. That's all for now. Thank you.